The political pundit George Will was recently on with George Stephanopoulos and he made the remarkable assertion that um, January 6th should be as seared on the American mind and conscience as 9-11. Listen. I would like to see January 6th is burned into the American mind as firmly as 9-11, because it was that scale of, of shock to the system. Now, for me, um, the, uh, this kind of absurd moral equivalence, the sheer preposterousness of it, uh, and what do I mean by that? 9-11 um, was people committed to destroying America, the country. They would set fire to the whole place if they could. Uh, they were terrorists in the sense that they were using terror tactics against civilians and they killed a lot of them, nearly 3,000. And they used airplanes as weapons. This was a violent uh, act in which the people who perpetrated it saw themselves as sort of soldiers. Now contrast this with January 6th, an attempt by people who feel voiceless to go to the Capitol and make their voices heard. One person killed, deliberately. Ashley Babbitt, a Trump supporter, shot by a black Capitol Hill police officer. So comparing this, the 9-11 assault on American democracy with January 6th, an attempt to make democracy work, make sure that legitimate votes are counted ensure integrity, that was the driving motivation of it, um, is just obscene. But for people like me who grew up with George Will, who at one point looked up to George Will, who respected George Will, we've got to ask the question, what really happened? Have we changed? Has George Will changed? I think when I look back, uh, I can now resolve something that long puzzled me about George Will. And that is that George Will was always the darling of the left. Uh, this is why he had a regular column in the Washington Post. Meg Greenfield, the editorial editor, loved George Will. George Will was also the darling of ABC News. He was very often on ABC. Um, he was sort of the, the token conservative. But the question is, why him? What, what was it about Will that made him such a favorite for the political opposition, which of course controlled these media? And the answer is really simple. Will was always willing to sell out on the issue that mattered most to the left. I noticed this in the Reagan years. If Reagan proposed tax cuts um, and that was the big issue and the left was vehemently opposed to those, George Will would be reliably conservative across the board, except on tax cuts. He'd call oh, fiscal responsibility that uh, makes it obligatory that we reject tax cuts. Or if the important issue was missile defenses, George Will would be reliably conservative across the board, but he would sell out on miss missile defenses. He would be the conservative who would give the left the thing they wanted most. And this, of course, is why they said, yeah, this is the kind of opposition. In a sense, you could say Will was the intellectual equivalent of what people like Cheney and Mitt Romney are now. They're the kind of tame opposition that the left wants because then they can pretend to have an opposition, even though the opposition uh, obligingly surrenders whenever the going gets rough.